So here's an electric field problem where we are given two big charges, uh, Q1 and Q2 are both considered big charges because in the context of the problem, they are creating <clears throat> electric fields. What we're asked to find is the point where the total electric field f uh, from both charges cancel to zero, where the net electric field <clears throat> is zero. Um, so remember, electric fields are vectors. Uh, vectors have direction. The very first thing we want to do here <clears throat> is take a look at the direction of the electric field due to charge one and the direction of the electric field due to charge two. Uh, so in general, we know that electric fields for big positives go out in all directions. So the electric field from charge one is going out in all directions. And again, the reason for that is because if you put a little positive guy near to the big positive, this little positive guy is going to move away from the big positive. And we define the direction of the electric field as the direction of positive charge motion. Okay, for this big negative guy, uh, the electric field is going in, in all directions. And like I just said, the reason for that is because if we put a little positive guy here, the little positive guy will move towards the big negative. The electric field is always the defi it's defined as the direction that a small positive test charge moves uh, when placed in the field. Okay, so these arrows represent our electric field. So what this question wants us to figure out is the point where the electric field due to charge one and the electric field due to charge two cancel to zero. So there's three possible regions where this could happen. It could happen somewhere in the middle between charge one and charge two. But as we're going to find, find out, that's not going to be possible. Um, it could happen over here to the left of the situation, or it could happen over here to the right of the situation of the two charges. Uh, so let's start by taking a look. Um, well, first of all, what, what is the equation that applies for finding the electric field at a distance from a charge? So here I just extended this electric field line. The equation we're going to be using in this problem is KQ over R squared, uh, where this is a big guy. Uh, it's the source of the electric field. And R is the distance from the charge. Okay, so this is the equation. And, and, and notice here it says uh, calculate the point other than infinity. So what this means is, you know, if, if R, if, if you went so far from the charge, so far that R became infinity, if the denominator is infinity, then E would go to zero. So uh, the answer to this question is not going to be infinity because, yeah, at, at a distance of infinity from the charge, uh, E would have to be zero. All right, so this is going to be our equation. So let's first take a look at why uh, the answer to this question will not be between Q1 and Q2. So we're going to look at a point uh, in the middle here. So if we, if we just focus on this point right here, the electric field from charge one is going to be going to the right. So I'm going to label this E1. Uh, it's electric field from charge one. The electric field from charge one is going out. What happened to my pen? Out to the right. Okay. Um, looking at charge two, at this point, the electric field from charge two is also going to be to the right. So I'm going to label that E2. Um, so again, the reason for that is, you know, charge 2 is negative, so the electric field is going in to that negative charge. So at all points between charge 1 and charge 2, there is no possible way for these electric fields 
to cancel because they both point to the right. Okay, so now let's look at a point to the left over here. So we're just going to pick a point over here. Uh, E1 is pointing to the left. I'm going to label this E1. And E2 is pointing to the right. Okay, so the reason for that, just to make sure everybody's got this, uh, the electric field from charge one is going boom, <clears throat> it's going out that way to the left. So that's E1. <clears throat> At this point over here, the electric field for charge two is going boom, it's going into charge two. So it points to the right. Uh, so at first glance, you look at this and you think, oh wow, well, we found our spot because it looks like these electric fields uh, will cancel. But at closer look, there is no way for E2 to cancel E1. And the reason for this is very important, and it's a pretty simple reason. Charge 1 is a bigger charge. It's 8 microcoulombs. Charge 2 is a smaller charge. It's 3 microcoulombs. So charge 2 has two disadvantages at this point over here. The two disadvantages are uh, it's a smaller charge and it's a farther distance. Charge 1 has two advantages. It's closer to the point we're focusing on and it's bigger. So there's no way for the electric field from charge 2 to cancel the electric field from charge 1. So to put this another way, E1 is going to be big, so we'll draw that vector longer, and then E2 is always going to be little. Uh, they're not going to cancel each other. Okay, so let's take a look at the, uh, the place where the electric fields will cancel, and that is over here. So the answer to this question is going to be to the right. It's going to be over here. Uh, so the electric fields at this point, we have the electric field from charge 2 going to the left. We'll label that E2. It goes into big negative. And the electric field from charge 1 is going out to the right. So here, these electric fields can cancel. Uh, like we said, charge 2, it's a smaller charge. But in this situation, it's closer um, and charge 1 can make up for the fact that it's farther away because it's a bigger charge. Okay, so our distances, let's label our distances. We're going to label the distance from Q2 out to our point. We'll label this X. And then the distance from, <coughs> from our point <coughs> over to Q1, we're going to call this uh, X plus 1 where that's one, x plus one meter. We'll just say x plus one. <clears throat> this one is one meter. Okay, so our distances from charge two over to the point we're focusing on is a distance x, and <clears throat> from charge one over to the point we're focusing on is x plus one. Okay, so if these electric fields are gonna cancel, that basically means that you know, the absolute value of E1 is equal to the absolute value of E2. And as we said at the start of the video, uh, the equation that applies for finding electric field at a distance from a point charge is KQ over R squared. So we plug this in here. This is going to be KQ1, where that's absolute value, over R squared. Now the, dis the distance for charge 1 is X plus 1. That's the distance from charge 1 over to the point we're focusing on. And the equation for E2 is going to be KQ2 over X squared. The distance from charge 2 over to our point is X. Okay, so here what we can do is we can cancel the Ks. And uh, so what we're going to get, uh, Q1 is 8 microcoulombs. Uh, you know, so that's 8 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. This is uh, negative 3 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. So we plug in Q1 is uh, 8 times 10 to the negative 6. 
I'm going to leave the units off here, as bad as that is. Uh, x plus 1 squared equals q2, which is 3 times 10 to the negative 6 over x squared. Now, 10 to the negative 6 is on both sides. So we're basically going to cross out this uh, 10 to the negative 6 because uh, it cancels. It'll, it'll simplify this. All right, so we're going to cross multiply now. So I'm going to go up here. So now we have 8x squared equals 3x plus 1 squared. So let's square root both sides. So this is going to be x times the square root of 8 equals x plus 1 uh, square root of 3. So we're going to have to distribute this square root of 3. You know, we're getting down to the end here. We're solving for x. So I'm going to take this into decimal form. So uh, what, when you do the algebra, this simplifies out to uh, 2 square root of 8 is 2.8284x. So that's this. And then uh, this simplifies down to 1.7321x plus 1.7321. Uh, the square root of 3 is 1.7321. Okay, so now this this simplifies to 1.0963x equals 1.7321. Divide both sides by 1.09, and x comes out as 1.58 meters. So the answer is uh, the point where the electric fields cancel will be uh, 1.58 meters to the right of charge 2.